Alright guys, so yep, this is the biggest one I have right here. It is the Hogwarts Express. So I'm just going to do a time lapse of it, give my thoughts and opinions on it once it's finished. So the time lapse will start in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright guys, so that was about over an hour, possibly an hour and a half of time lapse. 
But anyway, this is the finished result of um, of the Hogwarts Express. So right here we have the Dementor. Now he has a completely changed look from his previous version. His face is completely black instead of gray. I really like how his, uh, like, because the old one, he was, like, torn, like, only on the edges. But this one, he has, he has torns, like, in the cape. And then they use, like, this ghost particle thing, like, from Ninjago. Brand new torso print. Pretty cool. So, here's, like, the fat lady on the trolley. Nothing special about her, um. So, I mean, that's just a background character. Have a uh, trolley cart, you know, like I said, nothing special. Um, then there's Hermione right here. Like, I don't have this hairpiece, which is nice. All, also, another thing to say is I love these new, uh, these new wands because they're not, um, they're not, because the old ones were way too big. Like, if you actually would make these minifigures life size, the wands would just be like as big as their head well more than that technically so um right here we have ron weasley so you know like i said i like the new wands um this is a i think this yeah the same uh this is the same hair piece that he had in uh you know back when the last uh harry potter sets were out back in like 2010 um you know it's a pretty cool uh plaid torso jacket um so nothing else to say about him uh who else do we have okay so remus lupin so completely different look completely different hair way more accurate than the 2011 version it's got a briefcase um that's yeah, pretty cool torso print um nothing else to say about him and where is harry i know he's hiding there he is okay so for those of you who have a uh, seen that the new minifigures are out, uh, like, you know, minifigure series, uh, so Harry's basically got a whole lot of new hairstyles, depending on, like, you know, what year he was in in Hogwarts, um, so this is supposed to be, this set's supposed to be based off of Prisoner of Azkaban, so this is his Prisoner of Azkaban look, um, so I really like his new hair piece, uh, his torso print's pretty cool, also another thing I like, is that each of the um, characters have different wand coloring, except for Ron and Lupin. So that's basically all I have to say about the minifigures. So right here is the Hogwarts station. So this, um, I think they haven't done this since 2004, which that was the 2004 Hogwarts Express. I'm not sure if that's entirely accurate, but that's what I remember. Um, so anyway, we got Ron's trolley here, which has scabbards and some... And some briefcases. Also, one thing I like is, uh, hang on. So, this is platform, like, you know, you know, it's how to get to platform nine and three quarters. Uh, okay, that's not really gonna work, but, um, see, it's basically, uh, you know, if you flip the door, then boom, you're there. So, anyway, uh, so, I mean, I really like that there's, uh, these newspapers with, uh, you know, Harry Potter on it, you know, the boy who lived. Then we got uh, Sirius Black, you know, Wanted, which, like I said, this is based off the Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, so, then, yeah, see, Platform 9 and 3 quarters. We got King's Cross sign right there. Um, then we got this thing. I was a bit confused on why they had this in, where it goes over the train. It's not entirely necessary, but, I mean, it, it's okay. I mean, at least, like, uh, you know, it connects, like, from the train on both sides. And then this part, like, you know, there's nothing really there. But um, it's not really a big deal. But anyway, let's move on to the Hogwarts Express. So here is the Hogwarts Express. The reason why it's at this angle is so that all of it can be in the shot at once. So first, right off the bat, I'd love to I like to say, um, so if you can see that, um, I really like how they have that going. You know, it's just another another cool thing to look at when it's moving. Um, so there's nothing in there, obviously. Um, so let me detach the engine. Okay. Hang on, I'm using one hand to hold my light. Whoa. Okay, so let's detach that. Okay. 
Oh. All right, there we go. So right here in the back, you know, there's a furnace, which is what it's expected with this kind of train. Um, so that was, uh, uh, I guess this is just for turning, you know, you know, whenever there's a turn on the tracks. So also, um, you know, I don't actually have any Lego train tracks, but I might get some just because of this set so that, you know, maybe if I'm making some kind of setup, the, um, you know, my train can actually go somewhere. So let's, let's go. Um, so it's basically, um, you know, it's like the coal for the train. Um, you know, nothing special here. It's completely empty, which it's kind of expected. I mean, it would just be a bit unnecessary to have a uh, coal in there. But anyway, uh, yep, that fell off again. All right, I'm not even going to detach this. So here is the, uh, all right, here is the interior. So I was kind of hoping that they would have like, you know, compartments where with sliding doors, but I mean, you know, they, I guess the reason why they didn't do it is because adding platform nine and three quarters, it would just make this, and like, you know, adding actual compartments would just make the set a bit too expensive, maybe probably more than the Hogwarts castle. But I mean, like, if you're going for a really simple look, this is fine. But um, I also kind of wish they would have had at least a second compartment, you know, a second train or whatever it's called. Um, so, but like, like I said, um, this is a, the reason why they didn't is because they added platform nine and three quarters. So um, there's not really much else to say about this, uh, this set. So I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing another set um real soon so anyway i'll see you guys next time